Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday to each and every one of you. Thank y'all so much for watching my videos. I so appreciate it. Today what we have is a unboxing of sorts of a Vera Bradley Carson Hobo. I bought it off of Goodwill online. I did not even remember this being a thing. I was watching, even though now that I think about it, yeah, you know, sometimes you just put things out of your mind that don't like really amount to a whole lot. And now that I've bought this, I recall knowing someone that bought something off of here like a hundred years ago, but then I never thought about it again. Um, so I saw this video, this lady came up on my feed. I've never followed her before um, or seen any of her videos, but she was opening some Vera stuff that she had bought from the Goodwill online store. And, um, I've forgotten totally about knowing someone that had bought something from there a thousand years ago. So I was like, oh my God, there's another way I can buy Vera. And even when that person a hundred years ago had bought something and I had forgotten all about it, um, I never looked into it or tried to buy anything of my own off of there. So I forgot all about it. So when I saw her, I was like, oh, this is a thing. Like I can go up there and download this app myself and buy things by Vera, which is all I really buy online anyway. Um, so I did. And I bought something. I bought a Vera Bradley Carson Hobo. I love the Carson Hobo. I have another one, like the big one, not the small one. And they're huge, they're ginormous. You just pile it all in, like your whole life, just in one bag. Um, so, I bought one. And it was only, the bag itself was like maybe $10 and some change. And it works pretty much like eBay or Poshmark or Macari, which are where I usually buy any used Vera that I get, or pre-loved Vera that I get. Um, so this pretty much works the same. Um, and the prices are really, really reasonable. The shipping's kind of high though, I've noticed. Usually the shipping is always like 10, $12, which I guess in the scheme of things may not be that high, but usually if you spend something for like 10, $15, you're spending like $10 in shipping. Um, which still is a bargain though in the scheme of things. I don't know. I used to sell um, stuff on eBay here or there, not like a regular seller, just stuff I didn't want. And um, I wasn't, I really didn't like having to figure up the shipping. So usually I just did free shipping and then just sold it for whatever. But I'm digressing now. Um, so I got the Carson Hobo. Let's get back on track. I'm sorry. I'm a malinger and get off track very easily. So. Let's open this. It's like in a brownish color. Um, I'm not sure what the color is called exactly. I probably could have Googled that before. Um, but I didn't. So I'm going to open this and then I'm throwing it directly in the washing machine because I am a germaphobe, have always been a germaphobe. Um, that's one thing that's good about getting here. If you do get it like secondhand or on a third party site is it is washable. I'm trying to make sure my address doesn't show up here. Oh Lord. Okay. All right. Let's see. So all together, this bag and the shipping is like 22 and some change, which is really a steal. Even though I'm complaining about the high shipping, it's really probably in the scheme of things in reality not that high it's just it's just me but $22 so let's let's the bag looked like it was in like good condition on the pictures so let's hope for the same here and that it's not too dirty because I am a germaphobe it's going in the washing machine anyway as soon as I hit stop on that little button but I just don't want any germs to rub off on me I'm crazy like that even if I touch Even if I touch like the my wallet, I, I make sure I immediately wash my hands. Like I'm 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 weird like that. Alright, so oh, oh. I don't know what that is. Okay, so they rubber banded it for some reason. It's like velvety kind of. It doesn't stain, it just it doesn't smell clean. Does that make sense? Okay, there's a lot of stuff sticking on it. Like linty stuff. Maybe dirt. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not, <laughs> I'm just looking at it myself. Not, you know what, it doesn't look like it's in bad shape. It doesn't look like it is in bad shape at all. 
it just needs a little bath. And I have time, so we're gonna bathe it. Let's scoot back a little bit in my chair so you can see it in the box. It's very nice. I like it. I think it's pretty. It just looks a little dirty to me, which freaks me out a little bit. Um, just because I'm a germaphobe. It has, and this is the large one. Can you see my face? Maybe this isn't the best setup. Um, see, there's like a little, little dirty thing right there. So it's like the velvet. It feels like velvet. Um, it's probably not like actual velvet. I don't know. You have the side pouch. Because I bought a black one off of eBay like last year this time. And I used the heck out of that bag. I really loved it. Or love it. I still have it. Um, because it's just so big and roomy. And then on the inside, it's got the pretty pattern. I don't know what that's called. Um, we have the back zip wall compartment. And then two. Oh, and I guess it has the, just like the other one where you can charge your phone or put your phone in this front pocket and then put your power bank in there and like thread the cord through. So that's two of those, or two slip pockets in that. So then we have a little Vera Bradley, little faux leather tag right there. And it has, this is, it says Vera Bradley. This is a little chintzy right here. Just a little, little chintzy. The um, crossbody adjustable strap. It feels kind of thin, like really thin and chintzy a little bit, but it's still nice. I still like it. That's fine. So I'm excited to use this. I just gotta throw it in the washing machine because this came from the dollar, or not the dollar store, it came from the Goodwill, so this come from somebody's house. Well, like, third-party stuff does come from other people's homes and things. Um, but this has been, like, in the store, the thrift store with other people's things that, you know, germs, I'm sure we're on those as well. But it's really pretty. I think once I wash it up, clean it up some, it's not filthy. I don't see, like, any rips and tears in it or anything like that. There's just a lot of like lint, it looks kind of like there's a little, 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 little dirt on it, but it's also got that velvety material, which I think kind of just attracts like dust and things like that, but it's really pretty. It's in this kind of wine, burgundy, maroon. I thought it was kind of brown at first, but it's not. It's more of a, um, kind of like the mold wine, no, because that's more of a, um, a purpley color. I don't know what this color is called exactly, but to describe it, it's kind of a maroony kind of color. Maroony. It's kind of maroon. And look at the big bottom. Like these are such roomy bags. So I am going to throw this in the wash, but I just wanted to show y'all. It has the gold tone zipper and the gold tone little hardware. I think I'm gonna love it. I love my other one. I love Carson Hobos. They're like some of my favorite style of beers. So just wanted to share this with y'all. I got this yesterday. I didn't even open it last night because I'm like, I'm gonna do it on one of my videos so y'all can share the experience with me. Um, but yeah, I really love it. It's really nice. So thank y'all so much for watching my videos. Thank y'all for taking time out of your day um, to watch me talk about beer. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks to all my subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the little like button. I really appreciate that. Um, thank y'all so much. I hope you have a great Saturday and I will see you next go round. Bye.